Hi there, I'm Andrea Koppel, and it's time for Coffee, the podcast where you get to hear firsthand what the jobs and careers that interest you the most are really like. Hey there, Java junkies. Welcome to another K-Cup mini episode of Time for Coffee. By the way, K-Cups come in three sizes, single, double, and triple shots, or roughly one minute, five minutes, or 10 minutes in length. So if you don't have time to throw back an entire caffeinated career conversation, these K-Cup mini episodes of T4C can give you a quick caffeinated fix, whether you're on the go or you only have a few minutes to binge. So grab your mug and take a chug, because it's time for a caffeinated career double shot K-Cup with my guest, Tom Davidson. I would love for us to talk, Tom, about what you're doing right now as the co-founder and CEO of EverFi. And first, for our young listeners who may not be familiar with the terminology that I was using in the intro, what does it mean to say that EverFi is an educational technology company? So EverFi is an ed tech company. We basically build out really what I think are very sophisticated learning platforms. They're done all online. So think of these as five-hour, 10-hour, 20-hour courses in some cases. They're consumed either on your desktop or your mobile phone or your iPad or Chromebook or whatever it might be. And we're able to build... They use all the latest and greatest of like social gaming and video and short-form interactions and, and survey tools and what they call adaptive pathing, the ability to kind of move students based on certain questions that you answer. And and then when we implement that across millions of users, we have about 6.2 million learners who use our courses every year. Got it. Okay. So could you talk a little bit more about what EverFi does? What are all the courses that you offer up and who's your target audience? Sure. So EverFi is kind of a unique animal in that I always tell people, you'll never see us build a biology class. We think there are people who are really great at building what all of us would describe as core curriculum, things like English or, you know, reading skills or something. There are hundreds and hundreds of companies who do that. We've chosen a, a different path. We look out on the landscape and say, what are either areas that are very much left out of the normal school day? I often talk about it as the grout between the tiles. So you think about things like financial literacy, college readiness, student loan preparation, certain like data science skills that are left out of the normal school day and and other things. And then also on the other side, what are really big, seemingly intractable social problems that exist that, that teachers are trying to figure out, parents are trying to figure out, they've got to go harvest the parts of the internet to find, you know, what's best practices or not. And we try and build those all into a curriculum that they can implement in their schools. So these are going to be things like sexual assault prevention. They're going to be things like bullying prevention, digital wellness areas around loneliness or character development and mental wellness. And we don't think that a lot of those have a good answer to them in terms of curriculum in school. So we build those out. And the, what's interesting is we started the business focused around K-12, really specifically around high school. But then we went downstream into K-8 through eight and middle school. And then we went upstream into college and the workplace. So we really cover it womb to tomb. I mean, we have first graders on our platform doing summer learning loss and the challenge of kids losing 30% of their reading and math skills over the course of the summer. And we run for 1,300 unique universities, the alcohol responsibility sexual assault prevention programs for most of the major universities in the country. And then about 2,000 very big companies that range from the biggest to the biggest use our software to train people internally at their companies. Thanks for tuning in to this K-Cup mini episode of Time for Coffee. If you want to listen to our entire caffeinated career conversation, please check out the show notes for this episode. Thanks so much for listening to Time for Coffee, where the professionals in the jobs that most interest you always have time to grab coffee 24-7, no matter where you live. I have one quick favor to ask you. Remember to rate, review, and subscribe to Time for Coffee. Thanks so much.